hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all having an amazing day today in today's video i wanted to do something a little bit different i wanted to go ahead and do sort of a battle between these two bags right here i have my ipsy glam bag and my ipsy glam bag plus for the month of february and i'm going to compare what i got in each bag and then let you know at the end which one i think is the better deal so if you want to see what i think and see what i got this month then just keep on watching Okay guys, so just in case you don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription service. This little bag right here is the Glam Bag. It costs $12 a month. You get five sample size beauty products and you're promised the value of at least $50. And I had Ipsy Glam Bag years ago, like 2016, I wanna say all the way up to 2018. Then I canceled it and I haven't tried it until this month. I went ahead and renewed my subscription. Just because I was getting a little FOMO, I wanted to see, I wanted to get some of the things that people were getting in these little bags. And then the Glam Bag Plus, I tried out for the first time last summer and I've been loving it so far for the most part. And this one costs $25 a month. You get five full-size beauty products with a retail value of at least $120. And with your Glam Bag, you get to pick one of your items every month. I mean, they give you choices and you pick from those items and then the other four products they choose for you. But the Glam Bag Plus, they let you pick two of your five items and the other three they pick. I also like to show you guys the options that they gave me because I like to compare and see who's getting different kinds of choices. So I'm gonna show you that too. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the Glam Bag just because it's the, it's the small one and I haven't had one of these in my hands in so long. I actually really prefer the Glam Bag, like the bag itself, over the Glam Bag Pluses, their style. But these I give to my daughter to play with. But these kinds, I have so many in my house that I use for everything. And this month's bag is just so adorable and perfect for Valentine's Day. So it's a red bag and it says, sealed with a kiss. And up here it says, made with love and Ipsy right here. So it looks like a letter. And then right here where you close it, there's like lips, like a kiss. Let's look at the little card. This month's theme for Ipsy is Ipsy Send Love, which I think is a beautiful theme for Valentine's Day. We could all use a little love. I'm actually really surprised. Usually Ipsy just writes different things in here, like articles, I don't know. But this time it looks like they printed the items that I got in my bag with their value. I'm very impressed with that. I've been waiting for them to do that. Okay, so let's get started. For the choices that Ipsy gave me to choose my one product from my glam bag, they gave me the choice of the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter Clear Brow Gel, Pixie Beauty Eyeliner, um, Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask, then we have a Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner, also a Daily Cleansing Powder, a Moisturizer, a Primer, and then a lip scrub so everything just seemed like it was skincare related um except for like the liner and the brow gel that i don't need so i wasn't super excited the thing about the glam bag that makes me excited a little bit is that it's only 12 dollars, so i don't feel like super let down but i didn't see anything too exciting but i ended up going with the seraphine botanicals camelina and strobe luminizing primer and peach glow i'm so glad i have this little card now and this retails for $18. And I chose this. It's such cute packaging. I love Seraphine Botanicals packaging. I chose this because I like the brand. I've tried a few of their products and they're so good. I love their eyeshadow formula. And also I have one of their lip masks and they're so um, hydrating. But this is a luminizing primer and I have very dry skin as you guys know. So I just really wanted to try it out. And here on the back it says tired looking skin instantly comes to life with this natural looking glow enhancing formula. Sounds really cool and I'm excited to try that out. So that was what I chose. Now let's get to the items that Ipsy chose for me. The next thing in my bag is the Sila C2 Skin Scrub Natural Grain Polish. I'm not sure what that really is, but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Um, but it says this moisturizing body scrub is the two-in-one staple your shower has been waiting for. They use this finely milled Koopa Kao seeds to buff away dryness, roughness, and dullness. Plus a mix of nourishing oils and shea butter to make your skin super hydrated and smooth. And it retails for $33. And it says to twice a week massage this onto damp skin in the shower and rinse. 
you know what i'm actually not upset about this because it's not really really skincare and i have extremely dry skin i always mention that so i totally should try it it is a sample size but why not i'll try it out it's different i actually do like that the next item that they chose for me is the can see so pretty fragrance and it says if confidence had a scent it would be something like this a few spritzes of this eau de parfume give off high energy take on the day vibes that you'll want to channel 24 7. fruity notes of apple and tangerine are fresh and bright while green floral notes are the perfect mix of flirty and fun and this retails for $55. And I guess it's a perfume. I'm not huge on perfume just because I have a nice collection. And I don't use and I just don't use them as often. So I wouldn't expect to get a perfume from like a makeup skincare related um, subscription box. But this is what it looks like. It is super cute. Let me see. I guess I'll spray it. I don't like okay, I'll try it. Mmm. It might smell really good. I just again don't need it. Mmm. It smells good, but I feel like f perfume is so personal. Everyone has different tastes. I feel like it's easier to give people different color makeup that maybe they can make work for themselves. Um, but perfumes are so personal. Everyone likes different kinds of things. So I like it, but I can't imagine everyone loving this scent. It does smell kind of sweet, but not extremely too sweet. I keep going back to smell it, so that's a good sign. Hmm. I do like it. And again, that retails for $55. The next item in my bag is the Shayna B. Miami Blush Brush. Meet Your Powder Blush's new bestie. This brush has a square cut shape that's easy to use no matter what your makeup skill level. It gives you a ton of precision and control when applying color and has ultra soft bristles that blend pigments like a dream. This is a really nice brush. I think this month is the month of brushes from Ipsy. I got so many brushes in all of my bags. Um, is this for blush? It looks so big. Okay. I might try it out. I have Shayna B. Miami's, um, her contour brush and also her eyeshadow palette and I love it. And I like supporting like smaller brands. So it feels really nice and soft. So I might try this out. But this month I got so many brushes. I better not get any brushes next month. But I do love brushes. I just don't need more, please. <laughs> The last thing in my glam bag is the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask with Super Volcanic Clusters. This is the packaging. And it says, made with finely ground. I forgot to mention that this brush costs $23. And now going back to this, it says that made with finely ground walnut shell powder, alpha hydroxy acids, and volcanic clusters straight from Korea's Jeju Island. This powerful pore clearing mask exfoliates and draws excess oils and impurities from your skin. The result, a complexion that's soft, smooth, and clear. Why not? I'm not huge into masks. No smell the way I like it. That's what it looks like, but I might try it out. Again, this is $12, so it doesn't feel like you lost out on anything. Okay, so I, I honestly, I don't mind. I'm glad that I got the items that I did. They're not my favorite things that maybe I would choose, but for $12, I think it's really nice. And now let's add it up and then get to our Glam Bag Plus. And according to my calculations, my bag was worth $144. And in here, I did notice that some of these are full size, where the Seraphim Motonicles is actually full size, and others are deluxe samples. The brush is obviously full size. But I think that's a really nice value for $12. And now let's get into the Glam Bag Plus. Okay, guys, so here's the Glam Bag Plus's bag. It just looks very, it's simple, but I actually like it too. I like getting a different kind of bag. I like that it's different. If they made a bigger version of the Glam Bag, maybe that would be cute. But this is what it looks like either way. You got some gold kisses on a red, like very thin fabric bag. I don't know how to explain it. And then you have the drawstrings here. Okay, so you see, it's kind of a little bit inconsistent. This one, there's no info on at all. Why? But the glam bag, the one that's $12, did tell me what everything was worth. But this one, there's nothing on it. So, that's fine. Okay. So, the first item that Ipsy did choose for me was the Farah Rendezvous Brush Trio. Right here you get these three brushes here this one right here i first of all i like the packaging it's so pretty and sleek um this one says that this eye contour brush really nice really nice for blending out eyeshadow 
And this one here is a pressed powder brush. They feel really nice and soft. And then this bigger one is a Dome Powder XL. Okay. So again, I got a lot of brushes this month, but I'm excited to try these out because I do go through brushes pretty quickly, but that was the first item that Ipsy chose for me. The next item that Ipsy chose for me is the Maye, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's the Maye Sunkissed Blush Palette. Uh, this is so pretty online. I wonder how it looks in person. I'm not really huge into blush palettes like that, but I'm interested in it because I don't have a lot of blush, so why not? So this is the packaging, super sleek, just really pretty. I like it. I do like that. You get a really nice size mirror in here, which I love. I love that. And then, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so here is the palette. These are very glittery, just to let you know. Some, of, some here look like they don't have too much glitter in them, but because the pan sizes are so um, oddly shaped, you will have to get a very small brush to get in between the different shades. But it is really pretty. I mean, you might just be able to like swirl everything in there if you do if you don't mind glitter. Um, I personally prefer a matte blush at the moment, and then I like to go in with like you know highlighter over it. But it is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. And that was the second item that they chose for me. I'm going to attempt to add everything up at the end, like search on their website and see. But for now, I'm just going to show you what I got because I don't have any values with me at the moment. Okay, guys, so for my first item, I had the option of the It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Hugging Foundation Brush. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I have a Mineral Hand Cream. Glow and Fit Bye Bye Puffy Eyes. Also, the Complex Cultural Angled Foundation Brush and the We Are Fluid Browsy Brow Gel in Clear. So if you watch my Ipsy Glam Back X unboxing, I also have so many choices with like um, brushes there. And I chose the Complex Culture Foundation Brush because I have their powder brush and I really liked it. And I was so conflicted. I wasn't really sure what to pick and I don't know what made me pick this. But see, I, I've already tried the Makeup Forever Foundation. That was my go-to foundation for so long. And I just, you'll see the next item that I chose. I just didn't want to try it again. And everything else wasn't super exciting either, honestly. Like, I didn't need it. And I had already gotten the Complex Culture brush. So I went with the It Cosmetics um, foundation brush. You're going to be like, what? That's what I mean when I say I don't need any more foundation brushes, please. Because this month alone from Ipsy, I got three of them. So I'm good. I just really like the shape and I wanted to try it. Oh my God, it's so soft, what? This is so incredibly soft. The shape is so interesting to me. Do you see? Like I can see myself, I don't know, doing something fun with this on my face. It's just so pretty and I guess I'm getting obsessed with foundation brushes, but I have enough of them to try out. I don't need any more. But that's what I chose for my first item and I'm, I am excited to try all of my new foundation brushes out. And now let's get to my second choice item. Okay, guys, so for my second product, I had the choice of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, the Tint Beauty Phantom Liner in Black, the Naked Cosmetics Four Piece Pigment Set, and Benton Deep Green Tea Cleansing Foam. And I, of course, had to pick the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. I don't really need new foundation, but why not? I was so excited to get this in my bag. This was the most exciting thing in my entire bag. And let's just take a look. It's a full product. That's what I love about getting full-size products. It looks really pretty. I've never tried this before. But that's kind of why I got the brush too. Even though I had other new brushes, I feel like that will go together well. So I, so far I have foundation brush, foundation, and a blush palette. I might try this out soon on my channel. I'm not sure. But I'm excited to see if it matches my skin. So that was my second product. Okay, so for my third product, I have the choice, again, of the Farrah Rendezvous Brush Trio by Le Voss Lip Gloss in Love in Paris. Touch and Soul Pretty Filter so, um, Lipstick About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint and Cloned. And I just went ahead with About Face just because it's a brand it's a brand new brand and I wanted to try it out. In my Ipsy Glam Bag X, I did get a lipstick, which is a really pretty color. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's so different. 
I just wish I would have gotten a more a brighter um eyeshadow. So this one is like brown. I mean, I can always make it exciting, of course. I could put this all over my lids and I don't know, do some glitter liner or something. But it is really pigmented and I've never tried something like this. I just smell everything. Because the lip glosses were very minty, but this one isn't. Okay, so that was the last item in my bag. And overall, I'm very pleased there was no eyeshadow this month. You guys know I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes. So I did end up getting this in add-ons. And I will be doing a tutorial with this very soon. I have a lot of tutorials coming up, but don't worry. I'm going to get to all of them because I love playing with eyeshadow. But they had the Violet Voss Pinky Promise eyeshadow palette. This is what I wanted them to offer me. But for some reason, Ipsy is just not offering me any eyeshadow palettes recently. I don't know. So at least they had it available in add-ons. And that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. So I'm going to try this out too very soon. But let me try and find a way to add everything up for my Glam Back Plus. Okay, guys, so according to my calculations, my Glam Back Plus this month is worth $173. So I think everything that I got was totally worth it. I wish they would have offered me some eyeshadow palettes, but at least I was able to purchase one through add-ons, which is very affordable too. But all in all, just to say which is better, in my opinion, Glam Back Plus is a lot better than Glam Bag because you get a lot more variety. If you love full-size products and you just like a bigger variety of products i feel like glam bag you're very limited um not everything has a deluxe size you know um you get some really cute things so i think in my opinion i will either have both or just glam bag plus overall glam bag plus just has a lot more things but i do think that glam bag gives you choices to try out like um sometimes they give you maybe a tinted moisturizer and a sample size but you only get to use that once and yeah, so it depends on your budget and also what kind of things you like to receive. Even though Glam Back Plus the last couple months hasn't been super exciting for me, I do think overall they offer a lot more than Glam Back. So that's what I will stick with if I had to choose one or the other. But that's going to be the end of today's video, I think. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.